precious blood of Jesus, save us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Today is the feast day of the first Saint Pius, the first of twelve popes who had governed the Church in different centuries under that name, which indicates that beautiful virtue, uh, the virtue of piety, one of the seven gifts of the Holy Ghost, whereby we are disposed to recognize God, our Church, our country, our family, all of those who are in different ways responsible for our being, and to show them due love and, and tenderness, duty and respect. St. Pius, this is not generally known, but St. Pius I was the great Pope of the Blessed Sacrament of the Precious Blood of our Lord. And that is why each year on his feast day I like to offer the votive Mass, which is our devotion for this month of July, the votive Mass of the Precious Blood. The chalice that I'm using tonight is a very beautiful one, and it has um, the... Uh, in, in, an engraving of two hearts, uh, dear in a word, from the Old Testament, the scriptural reference, drinking of the water that comes from the Holy Cross of our Lord. That is how we should be when it comes to the precious blood, to be thirsty as the heart panteth after the living water. Yet at the same time, as our Lord gives his blood to be the refreshment of our souls, because it is given to us, it is a serious charge and a burden. It is so enlightening for us to reflect upon and to remember the immense reverence, the piety with which the true Holy Mass has been offered going back to the very first centuries. Our saint is the saint who decreed that if anyone should be so careless as to cause the precious blood of Christ to fall to the ground, he would have to do penance for 40 days. And wherever it fell, if possible, the priest or the deacon would have to take it up with his lips out of very great reverence. And if not, the place would have to be scraped and then the dust or the scrapings thrown into a sacred place. What profound reverence he had lest any drop of the precious blood carelessly should fall to the ground. At the same time that our Pope reigned, the great defender of the Catholic Church, Justin the Philosopher, wrote this, We receive not as common bread, nor as common drink, the food which we call the Eucharist, but just as Jesus Christ our Savior, being made flesh by the word of God, had both flesh and blood for our salvation, so have we been taught that the food made Eucharist by the prayer formed of his own word is both flesh and blood of this Jesus who is made flesh. And uh, uh, later on that same saint wrote, we are in the greatest distress, Tertullian wrote this, if any least drop of our chalice or least particle of our bread should fall to the ground. And the early writers unanimously bear reverence to the immense respect now consider how the heretics in the 16th century began the sacrilege of communion in the hand and how in modern times uh, the particle of the host, which is meant to be the blessed sacrament, fall into the hand, from the hand onto the floor, and uh, the, similarly with their wine. If our Lord were truly consecrated, how many sacrileges would be committed every day throughout the whole church? You see then the need of reparation and of reverence and the importance that we Catholics know our history, how from the very first centuries there was not only a profound respect, but a heavy penalty or a penance that was imposed for any carelessness on the part of the sacred ministers because the precious blood of Christ is precious and it must be so to us. It is the price of our redemption. Keep in mind then, during the month of July, your own strong devotion to our Lord's most precious blood. And pray to be like the heart that panteth after the living waters. To receive our Lord as often as you can, 
daily to make their act of spiritual communion, and in your devotions, often to offer up prayers of reparation for those who do not believe, for those who train others not to believe, for all of those who have been scandalized by all the irreverences of the Novus Ordo now for so very long, and for a return of true Catholic faith and reverence. Precious blood of Christ, save us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.